episode of Innovating for a Better Tomorrow presented by Infosys. It's a great and interesting time for innovators and entrepreneurs in India. With the developed world facing up to its economic decisions, there's a lot of opportunity for young Indians to make an indelible mark on the innovation map. Today we are joining hands with the National Innovation Council to bring to you three fascinating stories of innovations that have transformed India. An innovative device that detects complicated eye defects in minutes. Yeah, hi man. This is Sairam. I'm calling from babajob.com. A search engine job. connecting India's poor to the job market. And solar lamps that light up low-income homes. They say once we get rid of our traditional thinking, we can get on with creating the future. Onergy, a solar energy solutions company, epitomizes that thought. Onergy is lighting up the homes of rural poor across East and Northeast India by providing them with renewable solar energy. For a region that is harrowed by frequent power cuts, Onergy's last mile distribution network is lighting up and transforming the lives of 1.3 million Indians. 30th July 2012, a day that brought 19 states in North India to a standstill. Six hundred million people were forced into darkness as the northern grid failed to power up for two days. Two years later, the situation is only worsening. The reality which India faces today is that still half of the population lives in darkness. With 27% of energy generated lost in transmission, electricity is unlikely to reach this low-income household in a remote corner of West Bengal. But Onergy is bringing hope and light to the darkest corners of India. This grassroots solar solutions company is introducing clean, renewable solar energy to rural homes. The idea about Onergy started off earlier when we uh, started a non-profit called Switch On, wherein we were doing a lot of work with uh, environment advocacy policy action. And that's when we had started traveling a lot in rural areas and started understanding uh, what were the real problems which people faced without having access to energy. When we take energy into, a, say, a village or even a town, small town, wherever, which does not have access to reliable energy, the opportunities that energy can create, that's incredible because if you're able to take light into a household, then number of hours of working can increase, which can dramatically impact the livelihood of that household. Set up in 2009, Onergy today has journeyed beyond being simply a solar lamp facility. Its USP is to provide tailor-made solar solutions to villages after understanding individual requirements. What we've done is we've tried to identify key areas where solar energy, to be precise, can play a role. Uh, and we've broken them into four heads, agriculture, education, health and livelihoods. In agriculture, we are setting up solar irrigation pumps uh, and also solar micro cold storages. In education, we're setting up solar ICT centers where children can come in, uh, learn computers, they can the young people can come and access internet. Uh, in livelihoods, microgrids we've seen uh, can play a large role in supporting local indigenous businesses by giving them energy and also light up communities. Despite a $19 billion boost announced by the Prime Minister to energize India's solar industry in 2009, switching to solar energy is expensive for a poor household. But it's grassroots enterprises like Onergy who are luring more and more people with innovative microfinance schemes to switch to a cleaner, sustainable form of energy. Today, Onergy has solar electrified over a thousand villages in East and Northeast India, reaching out to 1.3 million people. To help sensitize people from the remotest places in India to switch to solar energy, Onergy mobilizes local villagers through Shakti Kendras or Renewable Energy Facilitation Centers. Shambhu Pahari is a trainer in one such Shakti Kendra in the Sundarbans district of West Bengal. 
He is the neighborhood's friendly dada, spreading the message of self-sustainability through solar energy. Electricity duakta sundarbon alakay pounche gachhe. Electricity ja meter halu ba tar load shedding continue thakar jonne. Dakha jate solar ekas taro onekta egiye jabe. Yungs manushet chaidhar hoyche solar. Two years ago, Badul Jana, a local entrepreneur, used to spend over 300 rupees per month on kerosene or petrol for his energy needs. But switching to solar power has transformed his life. जेनेटर छाड़ा काज होवे ना। तो एक घंटा मशीन इंजन चल ले, एक लीटर तेल पुरतो। इतने एक लीटर तेल टा हमारे खर्च बेचे जाते हैं। लोशिंग हुए जवाब सोंगे सोंगे सोलार आलू टा जालते बच्ची। जेनेटर स्टार्ट दिते के ले दस मिनट टाइम लग दो। इतने क्यों चे हाथर काजे स्विच टा चे मेरे दिच्छी for a company that is ensuring a last mile distribution and service network for clean technologies, solar energy is not the end, but a means to the end. A decade down the line, what we'd like to do is become the experts, the, the brand for solar in East India. We've set a goal that we want to impact 1 million lives by 2016 and ultimately impact 10 million lives by 2022. From clean energy to an innovation that is changing the face of eye care in India. A portable eye screening device. Through Netra can detect 90% eye defects that cause blindness in less than 5 minutes. This Made in India brand is the much needed alternative to bulky eye screening devices that are not just unaffordable but also inaccessible to the masses. It's a beautiful day but there's darkness all around him. The colors are bright, but they fade away. There is light beyond the tunnel, but it's out of sight. Little Shabreen is Nusrat's fourth child. Born blind, she has never seen her mother. Shabreen was born in Pavagada in Karnataka, a village where malnourishment is rampant. Drinking water has high quantities of fluoride, and consanguineous marriages are a common practice, making its children more and more susceptible to blindness. But amidst this misfortune is a ray of hope. Every Thursday, villagers gather under this people tree for a makeshift OPD. The doctors are on a mission to rid Pavagada of preventable blindness and making this possible is a revolutionary innovation, Trinetra. Four years ago, with a clear goal of saving sight, Sham Vasudev Rao and K. Chandra Shekhar developed Trinetra, an integrated, intelligent, affordable, rugged and portable eye screening device that can screen a patient in less than five minutes. Their mantra, innovate, implement, impact. The only way healthcare can be made available, accessible, affordable to the larger section of society is if we make it preventive. A non-invasive diagnostic tool, Trinetra is able to detect diabetic retinopathy, cataracts, glaucoma, cornea problems and refractive errors at an early stage when patients don't yet experience symptoms. Fitted with a monitor that indicates normal or go see a doctor after every eye test, Trinetra can be operated by just about anybody. It's first of its kind because it integrates three functions, the anterior imaging, posterior imaging and refraction. Uh, it's very intelligent, it can actually do a first level analysis, can be used by minimally trained technician, does not require dilation of the eye and is connected to the cloud so that connecting remotely the patient to the doctor. So that makes it the first of its kind device which does comprehensive eye screening. Right from its inception, Trinetra has aimed to combine its impeccable product design and inclusive service. Touching the lives of over 6 lakh people across 14 countries. The device itself is easily portable and transportable and it is detachable into some 2 or 3 main parts and the heart lies in what we call as the tricam uh, 
which is the which contains the optics, the electronics, and the mechanics that drive the whole thing. And then we have the stand, which is easily foldable, and it's possible to take it out. So the design has been always been done as a, something easily detachable and attachable uh, within a span of few minutes. So this ensures that it is easily transportable and uh, possible to do screening at various places. The impact of Trinetra is far beyond Pavagada's people tree. You have a machine which has got multiple uses in it, which is portable and virtually screened for around 99% of the known cause of blindness which is, which is present in our population. At one shot, it's, you are trying to make the world uh, not to go blind. Baby Shabreen is on her first step to recovery. Doctors say her blindness can be cured. Mounting Trinetra to the pedestal of India's pioneering innovations. Not just saving sight, but bringing back millions of smiles. Yeah, hi ma'am, this is Sairam. I'm calling from babajob.com. A search engine job. connecting India's poor to the job market. There's over 2 million job seekers that are registered on Baba Job. And you know, every month, a few lakh job seekers apply for jobs that have been posted by employers. Welcome back to Innovating for a Better Tomorrow. It's the essence of genius to make use of simplest ideas. So when an American techie read about how employment in India can pull people and families out of poverty, he decided to spend his entire savings to create BabaJob.com. It's a search engine but looks for jobs, for vendors, security guards, maids, people who form the informal sector in India. It's the largest of its kind search engine which is connecting over 1 lakh employers with anyone who's seeking a better job. For 18-year-old Mary, life at school is what she calls her golden years. School life was very happy for me wherein uh, I enjoyed schooling with my sister, with my friends, everybody. I still remember being there. And uh, even like, even if I get a chance to go, school, go to school again, I would obviously go to school. But after uh, schooling, that was after four o'clock, uh, wherein my uh, sad time starts. After coming home, I see my mom suffering. Growing up in a low-income household was not easy. Her family had no savings and the misery seemed never-ending. My uh, aim was to become a lecturer, but obviously uh, due to my mom's financial conditions, I was not able to study further. If my father would have uh, supported my mom so that uh, we would have grown up and studied more. With no alternatives, Mary's mother was forced to work as a house help and at the end of each day, she gained no respect. She have to go to work, she, she have to uh, earn, she have to take care of us. Only uh, one woman working for 50 rupees of salary. As if by divine conspiracy, Mary's biggest wish to live a life of dignity with her head held high was granted. Today, she works with Country Inn in Bangalore as a telecommunications executive, changing her family's future forever. Back to Bangalore, sir. All thanks to babajob.com. Yeah, hi, ma'am. This is Sairam. I'm calling from babajob.com. It is your online job portal website. A search engine that helps thousands like Mary who seek jobs. A search engine that has revolutionized the informal job market. And leading it from the front are Sean Blagsvet and Veer Kashyap. So the innovation was inspired by some research that came out of the World Bank, a professor from Duke University. He was looking at the way people moved in and out of poverty and found that the way that people moved out of poverty was through income diversification, which means they had to find, people had to find access to different types of jobs. And that really wasn't available for people in the entry level and informal sector. There was just newspaper ads, word of mouth, signs in the street. And so we wanted to take that information and digitize it, make that available for people at the bottom of the pyramid who are looking for jobs. 
Initially marketed through door-to-door -door visits, Bangalore-based BabaJob.com has connected over 2 lakh job seekers to 50,000 employers, creating 10 lakh job positions. Give your call center candidates, right? International and domestic. Today, BabaJob is tagged as the poor man's LinkedIn. There's over 2 million job seekers that are registered on BabaJob. And you know, every month, a few lakh job seekers apply for jobs that have been posted by employers. We enable you to connect very quickly with job seekers. Our new product basically is called Rapid Hire, and within minutes, you'll get phone calls from qualified screened applicants. Dhanalakshmi, a house health, can now give her son a better education. Naveed, a security guard, can slowly pay off his home loan. Nataraj, a driver with a multinational company, can dream to own a fleet of cars one day. Mary can now fulfill her mother's dream of owning a house of their own and above all, give her mother the biggest gift, the gift of a dignified life. Today, BabaJob.com is spread over 691 different cities in India and the idea is working well for both employers and employees. We're seeing great success with employers being able to hire very quickly instead of sending agents on the street, putting newspaper ads, putting signs on the street, all these other ways. We have a, a much faster way of hiring, which is much more efficient. By 2016, BabaJob wants to reach out to 20 million job seekers. And with the backing of a strong team, they have one mission. To reach out far and wide to create a lasting social impact. The most satisfaction we get is when we actually see a, a job seeker or speak to a job seeker or see their comment that they've written to us saying thank you for helping me find a job that changed my life. That's what drives everyone here on the team to just keep making, making Baba Job better and better and reaching more, more and more people every day. We hope this special episode has inspired each one of you to innovate for a better tomorrow. Remember, you can connect with us on Facebook and Twitter, also on our website, ibnlive.com. From my entire team here, thanks for watching.